Hi guys, we have here a Tensai Stereo Power, Power Amplifier TM2550 After restoration, like you see, it uh, just passed out of full restoration, main filter caps replaced Rectifying the odds, diodes, they were, they've been replaced with fast, ultra fast uh, recovery diodes the multi not this uh, idle current trimmer was replaced with burns closed sealed uh, trimmer all the capacitors they've been replaced all the boards they've been cleaned new thermal thermal pads silicon pads installed here for the for the darlington monitoring transistor for idle current new thermal paste was added here on the peak indicators the capacitors they've been replaced so it just came out for uh, from full restoration now we'll uh, check the performance for this power amplifier here is the oscilloscope signal generator now it's on 1000 hertz one kilohertz here are the multimeters each multimeter he is connected for each channel, you see an alternating voltage. Here is the amplifier, so the connection from signal generator is going through back here on the inputs. From the outputs of amplifier from channel number A, first channel let's say, the outputs they are coming out on the dummy load. Here is the dummy load. This dummy load consists of four resistors. Two are for uh, two of them are for four ohms, and the other two for eight ohms. These four eight ohms are now warm. Here on the front is a switch. Now it's connected for the eight ohms. You see this switch. From oscilloscope are coming these two probes, let's say, cables, BMC cables, you see this one is connected, it's also disconnected on the oscilloscope, you see, I will connect back, the signal it came back, okay, multimeters are connected on the sides, this which is, which is, which you saw already, and here on the sides are connected, it's connected the outputs from amplifier, so left and right, it's going to the dummy loads, and on the dummy loads we will monitor across the dummy loads we will monitor the signal to oscilloscopes to oscilloscope and the voltage to the on the multimeters okay so let's see now how it's how it's going on so i'll try to keep the telephone like that and i will increase the signal you will see the signal it will increase okay we will see what is the maximum voltage you see it's coming here on clipping here it's on clipping yeah around here so it's around 20 20 volts ac so we'll keep this in mind 20 volts ac and now let's see when it's coming the peak according to these settings which are here so the peak is going out here so in my opinion is too is too low. So we have to we have to adjust according with the with the diagram, yeah. So you see peak indicator it's going on the 50 watts. I will calculate this 50 watts and I will adjust. I will how I will adjust this very simple with a with a with a screwdriver. We have here the trim pots down and we'll adjust. How we'll adjust? I will take a screwdriver now and we'll make these adjustments. How we'll do? Let's suppose we'll put this one. Let's say we'll make the clipping according with the oscilloscope. Yeah? So here is the clipping, like you see, it's coming clipping now. And with the screwdriver, 
we'll adjust the the trim pots you see now need some clipping and the other one okay so now if i will play with the power with the signal they come and go yeah which is normal so i have to make this one a little bit more brighter to come much faster something like that yeah okay so again playing with signal disappearing appearing perfect okay so now we are on clipping according with oscilloscope and according with indicator indicators so it's much better so what uh, what i did for this one so this is how it looks the performance yeah so now according with this calculation we will multiply the values so 20.32 multiply with 20.32 divide by 8 the load we will have the power in rms watts okay so this is how it looks later on you will see also the parts which i which i replaced i will make another video but about the performance this is how it's how it's going on and in this way I'm testing the, the performance. So now we will play also with another frequencies. So let's start from 100 Hz to see what's going on. So you see the maximum maximum delivering uh, voltage it's 20.3 let's say yeah. Okay so let's see what's going on on 100. Let's put on 25. 25 Hz. Okay so it's here is 25. I will adjust the time base and should come on clipping around 20 volts. Okay. So here is clipping. No, it's on clipping. So you see it's around 90. And if you are looking on LEDs, they are on clipping. If you are going down, they are coming out, which is which is normal. Okay, so for 1000 oh, for one for 25 hertz it looks okay. Let's go now to 100. Okay, 100 hertz. Let's change the time base. Okay. And let's see where is coming the clipping. The clipping it's here. So you see around 20, which is really good. Perfect. Let's go now to 1000 time base. Okay. But 1000 it was also before in the beginning. So you see clipping, voltage 20.2, and the indicators on clipping. Yeah. Let's go a little bit above. So let's start with 5. 1000 hertz, 5 kilohertz, time base again. Let's see what's going on. You will see the, you will hear also the noise, which is normal. So clipping, voltage, and the clipping also here, which is perfect. Let's start with 10 kilohertz. Normal, in normal situation, the amplifier is not. Uh, is not so squeezed when you are listening music is not is not stressed like now you see clipping voltage clipping also if i'm going a little bit down you see disappearing on 18.5 which is perfect but i told you according with this diagram i i should adjust the the clipping leds with 50 watts across eight ohms uh, dummy load yeah okay now i'm going to 20 thousand kilohertz that means 
no 20 kilohertz 20,000 hertz okay change the time base and let's see what's going on now you see distortion clipping so around 20 so you see from 25 hertz to 20,000 hertz the clipping it's around 20.2 volts which is which is perfect now the radiator are warm the power resistors also are warm which is okay for this power because this amplifier is not so powerful but this is the idea how i'm making the performance for for this kind of stuff if you like what you see here if you want to see something else if you want to see other procedure leave for me the questions if you like thumb up share with others subscribe of course and stay closed every second day new video is released and i hope you enjoy this which is uh, let's say nice hobby and later on you'll uh, will listen also the music on this uh, amplifier perfect thank you good luck